Hi, and welcome, and welcome to my Black Panther teaser trailer review and reaction. So, all I'm going to say about this teaser trailer Black Panther is the lot is great. Because, when you watch the teaser trailer of Black Panther that just came out, you know the lot is great. And you'll and you, and you be thinking, when you watch it, you'll be like, oh, I know that guy. He's from that movie. He's from that. Like, you know that guy. Uh, hey, he's that guy from Hobbit. He would. He also was in Captain America Civil War. Or, he's that guy, the guy Hancock in Age of Ultron. And they're coming back to Black Panther. And some people think the guy that was got a hand cut off and they ate a Voltron by Ultron that coming back to Black Panther that we th now we saw him in the Black Panther teaser trailer. Some think that he's gonna be the bad guy of the movie. And I don't know that hundred percent, but some people a lot of people think that. And what we all know is he did in the teaser trailer. Just that the guy that went in the uh, Hobbit movie that went in uh, Captain America Civil War. And all day in the TV trailer they didn't blow me away. It was still awesome. Had some cool things in, in the trailer. I hope it they I hope it it's a awesome origin story. And um this, this is the second time we see Black Panther in the MCU. The first time we saw the Black Panther was uh, in Captain America Civil War. And it will be the third time that I've seen Black Panther in, in any kind of Marvel movie. The, the first time I ever saw Black Panther in any kind of Marvel movie was it was a cartoon Marvel movie called Ultimate Avenger 2 Rise of the Black Panther. Now, I recommend that if you're going to see next, uh, Black Panther next year, most, most people probably will, but if you're going to see Black Panther next year, it's supposed to come out in February of 2018. I think February 15, 2018. I think that's the release date. Then I recommend you watch this. Because this movie, this Avenger movie, the cartoon Avenger movie, Ultimate Avenger 2, Rise of the Black Panther, the Avenger go to Wakanda. Black Panther home. And they did a good origin job of doing the origin of Black Panther. I recommend watching it next year or whenever. Before you go see Black Panther, it's a really good um, Black Panther Marvel movie with the Avengers. Okay, and um, that's the very first Marvel and kind of Marvel movie that I think with Black Panther, and I like it. And, and then um, I would say comparing this teaser trailer to the Thor Ragnarok teaser trailer, I would say I like Thor Ragnarok teaser trailer better, just because. Uh, I like the music that they put in there. For Led Zeppelin. Who doesn't like Led Zeppelin? I love Led Zeppelin. A good rock and roll band. Or what do you want to call it? Hard rock or rock and roll. But I, I love the music they put in there. Uh, Led Zeppelin. And the main reason I like Thor Rock and Roll just a little better. is because that one thing at the end with, with Thor, with Thor goes, We know each other. He's a friend from work. Okay. And, and another thing I like Thor Rock and Roll is he finally... If a Thor finally going to wear the, the classic Thor helmet from the comic book. Okay? And... Um... Uh, but... Uh, all I know is... Most Marvel movies have been awesome. They found that been weak. Like Thor in the Dark World and the Age of Ultron in my opinion. Or like the Two Weekend in my opinion. That's another one I didn't like them uh, that all week, like Iron Man 3, Iron Man 2, or, or some other weekend one too. But Black Panther trailer with Arthur could have been better. Um, I liked it. Um, now comment down below and tell me what you think about the uh, comment down below and tell me what you think about the Black Panther teaser trailer. Have you seen it? What do you think about it? And also comment down below and tell me which you like better. The uh, Black Panther teaser trailer or the Thor Ragnarok trailer. And which one are you more, most competitive to pay for? The net Marvel movie or your 
multi pay pay for the Spider Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, or Black Panther. For me, if I had to pick one of them, I would pick Thor Ragnarok because you know it's Thor versus Hulk. So if I had to pick, like I said, if I had to pick out of those three, which one of those three to go see, I would pick um, Thor Ragnarok. But I would probably go see Black Panther most likely. Cause I'm a big Marvel fan and in the Black Knight. And there are not, not too many Marvel movies that I did, um, in the MCU that I did not like. Except for the only one I did not like was Age of Ultron, The Thor the Rock, Dark World, and Iron Man 3. Other than that, I like all of them. I don't, those are the only three I did not like. But, um, uh, then, like I said, this, this tra teaser trailer was awesome. It could be a little better. But comment down below and tell me what what you like, what you think about it. Do you like it? You think the trailer should have been better? And I'm gonna say it again. Our Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor, Thor Ragnarok, or Black Panther. Which one are you most to pay for? Cause, cause we, cause I'm not, I'm not mentioning uh, uh, Infinity War. Cause we know that's the most pay to pay Marvel movie like of all time. Cause we do get excited about that one, right? That one, that one, that one probably going to have like a hundred Marvel characters in it. Cause that one probably going to, that one supposed to have uh, Gone and Galaxy in it. Okay? And, so, so thank you for watching. And, we can't wait for Black Panther to come out. Cause that one, going to be a super awesome too. And, Chatwick Bozeman, he does a good job in Civil War. And I can't wait to see him in his solo movie. I, ho I hope the very first solo movie of Black Panther is awesome. And I hope we have a trilogy, an awesome Black Panther trilogy. And thank you for watching.